Yes, 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 I had to do it, man. The new assault rifle that's just come to the game. The Honey Badger, aka the Chimera. Oh my days, this gun feels amazing, okay? But without further ado, let's dive straight into this class setup. Hold on, though. Wait. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. And if you're enjoying the content, make sure you smash the like button on this video. I would highly appreciate it, and I appreciate all the support so far. Let's dive into this, man. Come this way, come this way. Let's look at this, man. So, this is an assault rifle, remember that. But the way it feels to me, it feels like an SMG. I think that's why I love it so much. Because I love SMGs. I love playing on small maps. And this is why I've built this gun in this way. Now, for the rounds, I've gone with 45. I believe that this is probably the best way to go about it. Because you want a lot of ammo in a gun like this. It shoots very fast. And in situations, you don't want to be where your gun just runs out of ammo and you have to keep keep on reloading i love reloading so that's why i've gone with the 45 round magazine for the ammunition i have decided to choose the 300 blk hollow point this gives you crippling power but what does it actually do it slows down the target and disables them from sprinting for a short time now having this on a gun that does a lot of damage already and hits quite hard man this is actually very nice to be added on a weapon like this. So just remember why you're using your gun and what you want to use on it, okay? Now for the underbarrel, I've decided to go with the X10 grip. This is going to give me aim and stability, recoil stabilization. This is going to keep my gun steady. The gun's not going to be kicking, it's not going to be stinking, all right? <laughs> you want to make sure you go towards a gun that is steady so you can get your shots and hit all your shots on target whenever you can all right but again go towards whatever grip you think is possibly best for you now for the laser i have decided to go with the ulo 66 this is going to give me hip fire accuracy and hip recoil control again in small maps and when i'm running around fast sometimes i don't have enough time to aim down sights i can just hip fire and quickly kill that person in some other occasions i'm not going to be able to do that but with this laser sight, it's going to help me a lot. Now, with the optic, I've decided to go with the Cronin. Guys, go with whatever you think is going to be best for you. Whatever one looks best for you. For me, this just looks good on a gun. It's not too big. It's not too bulky. I can see what I'm shooting at. Don't go to a scope that's going to put you off your shots and, you know, put you off from even killing anyone. This helps me a lot. It's a nice mini red dot sight now that is the attachments now let me show you the tuning on these attachments for the scope i am putting it more towards aim down sight speed of course because i want to be quick and i have put the scope closer to me in that positioning now for the tuning on the under barrel we have again more down to aim down sights and aim walking speed we have gone towards the recoil smoothness and recoil steadiness there to make this gun as steady as possible now for the tactical i've decided to use the stun grenade when i throw this i can qu quickly just slow down the player and having that ammunition on the camera is actually going to help a lot with this tactical we've got the semtex of course and for the perk package i'm using the usual perk package double times scavenger fast hands and quick fix this on a map like shipment is very fun and for the field upgrade i'm using the trophy system and the battle rage so having this as a class set up in shipment right now is very fun and i would suggest something along these lines that suits your playstyle. but for me this is the way i had to go with it for today man but if you're enjoying the content on the channel i really do appreciate it if you would just hit the subscribe button and smash that like button thank you for everyone that's been commenting and subscribing i see you all road to 200 subscribers let's do it let's try to do that before the end of the year it would be amazing it's been addiction players i'm gonna head out now peace see you in the next video